Hello. Um, we're this week going to look at factorising um, the more difficult type of quadratic um, expression. And that's the one where you haven't got just x squared at the beginning. So at the moment, you know how to factorise if you've got something like um, x, will you write please? x squared plus 5x plus 6. Okay, so you've learned so far that that factorises to two brackets and then you used team, didn't you? So you times to make the end, add to make the middle. So two numbers that times to make 6, add up to 5, so that's going to be 2 and 3, and you get x plus 2, x plus 3. It's a completely different story when you're trying to factorise something where instead of just x squared at the beginning, you've got something like 2x squared plus something, or 3x squared plus something. If the number of x squareds is not just 1, then the method that we use is completely different. And you can see that that's the case here when we try and remove some brackets. So let's remove the brackets here using crab claw. So we do 2x times 3. Oh, I'm on the rubber still. OK, so 2x times 3. Well, that's going to be 2x squared. Then you've got the outer. So that's 14x plus 3x. Well, that's 17x. And then 3 times 7 is 21. Now, if you look at the original expression, um, obviously, if you if you multiply your two numbers together, 3 times 7 is 21, so that's fine. But if you look at 3 plus 7, it doesn't give you the 17 in the middle. So that 17 in the middle has got to come from somewhere else. And just we'll just do one more here. Again, if we use crab claw, x times 3 is 3x squared. The outer ones, so then we've got minus 2 times x. These two, minus 15x and then when you multiply the numbers on the end, minus 5 times minus 2 is plus 10. So we get 3x squared minus 17x plus 10. OK, so although the two numbers, um, the number on the end, the 10, the, the minus 5 and the minus 3 do times to make the number on the end, if you do minus 5 add minus 2, so adding those two numbers, we don't get minus 17. OK, so the method doesn't work when you've got 2x squared or 3x squared. Let's have a look at what we can actually do then. OK, there are several different methods of factorising this type of quadratic expression. You can use trial and error, which basically means you guess what the brackets are and then multiply them out to see whether you get the right answer. Another more organised way of using trial and error is what's called the crisscross method. And I really like this method of um, factorising quadratic expressions of this type. OK, I would stick to the team method if you've got the type with x squared at the beginning. But for this type, here's how the crisscross method works. And I really like this method. OK, first thing you do is you look at the two. OK, I'll put a little number one by it to remind you that's what you do first. And you think of two numbers that multiply together to make two. These two numbers, by the way, will always be positive. OK, and you write them one underneath the other. Now, in this case, two can only be written as two times one. So we write two, one. The next thing you look at is the number on the end. OK, and your expression must be x squared, then x, then a number on the end. So the second thing you look at is the three. And you think of two numbers that multiply together to make three. Well, that can only be three and one. Three times one is three. So again, write them one underneath the other. I then draw a line across, and the reason it's called the crisscross method is we now do this. We do 3 times 1, which gives us 3, and then we do 2 times 1, which gives us 2. And we then simply add up the two, the two numbers there. Now, here, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5, and I can see that this is no good, because what I want is for this number here, the 5, um, to be the same as this number here in the middle. No, it isn't. So I'm going to try something else. OK, so back to the back to the beginning. So two, let's stick with two times one. I've got no choice, but I can see that actually I could swap over the one and the three. So looking at the three on the end there, one times three is three. So let's do crisscross again. Two times three is six. One times one is one. Now this time, if I do six plus one, well, six plus one equals seven, which is the same as the number in the middle. So I'm now happy. How then do I get my two brackets? Well, this is the clever bit. OK, and so pay attention. I'm going to use the highlighter here so that you can to, just to make it a bit clearer. OK, right. The top two numbers, the two and the one, 
tell me the first two numbers in the first bracket. So let's go back to the pen. So my first bracket is 2x plus 1. I know it's going to be something x plus a number. And the 2 and the 1 tell me what the number parts are. OK, if I now look at my second bracket, I to get that, I look at these two numbers, the 1 and the 3. And the 1 and the 3 are going to give me the numbers that go in this second bracket. So let's put my, let's have that as my yellow and that as my green. So I know that in my second bracket, um, I'm going to have 1x plus 3. And we normally just write that as x plus 3. OK, so I've now correctly factorised. If you want to, you could check now by removing the brackets, but I know that that is going to give me the right answer. If I do 2x plus 1 times x plus 3, if I remove the brackets, I'm going to do 2x times x. Well, I know that's 2x squared. Then I'm going to do 2x times 3. Well, that is 6x. 1 times x is x, and 1 times 3 is 3. And if I add together the 2 in the middle, sure enough, I get 7x plus 3. So that is correctly factorised. The brackets remove to give me the original expression. OK, let's try another one using the crisscross method. So here's my expression, 3x squared plus 5x plus 2. And remember, the first thing that we look at is the 3. OK, so two numbers that multiply to make 3. These two numbers must be positive. I'm going to write 3 and 1. I don't know the order yet, but um, it might be correct. It might not. OK, let's write down two numbers that multiply together now to make 2. So let's do 1 times 2. So 1 times 2 is 2. Now we do the crisscross. 3 times 2 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. Remember, we add these two. 6 plus 1 is 7 not the same as the number in the middle. So that's no good. Uh -uh, it's wrong. OK, let's try again then. So same as before, let's do 3 and 1. And then to multiply to make 2, let's swap those two over and write 2 times 1. So 2 times 1 is 2. Now let's do 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times 2 is 2. 3 plus 2 does equal 5, which is the number in the middle. So I'm happy. That's a yes. So again, these two numbers at the top, the 3 and the 2, tell me that one of my brackets is 3x plus 2. And these two numbers at the bottom tell me that my other bracket is just 1x plus 1, which we normally just write as x plus 1. So my two brackets there are 3x plus 2, x plus 1. OK, let's have a look at another example. OK, let's have a look at another one. Um, this is a bit more difficult because we have choices. The last two weren't too bad because we were using things like 3 and 2, where you don't have much choice about um, the things that multiply together, the factors. OK, so let's start by looking at the 4 here. OK, we need two numbers that multiply together to make 4. Advice. You could choose here. We could use 4 and 1, or we could use 2 and 2. I always try the numbers which are nearer, closer together first. So I'm going to start with 2 and 2. OK, it just seems more common, if you like, <clears throat> to have some to have um, the numbers which are closest together. OK, now look at the 15. Now, again, multiplying numbers together to make 15, we could have 1 and 15 or we could have 3 and 5. Start with 3 and 5. They're closer together. So let's write 3 and 5. OK, so 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 3 is 6. Look, 10 plus 6 is 16. We're already there. I've just got lucky this time. OK, so my two brackets this time are looking at the top two numbers, 2x plus 3 in my first bracket, and looking at my second bracket, 2x plus 5. OK, so useful hint there. Look for the two numbers which are nearer each other. OK. OK, here's another one. Um, 6x squared plus 23x plus 29. Start with the 6, as usual, and the 6. Two numbers that times to make 6. Don't start with 6 and 1. Start with um, 2 and 3. So let's put 2 and then 3. OK, go to, oh, sorry, that's, that should be 20. I can't type. Sorry, that should be a zero. 
Okay, I thought so. I thought it was a bit weird. 29. Okay, I wanted to give you a harder one. So 20. Two numbers that times together to make 20. Let's say 4 and 5. So 4 times 5 is 20. Okay, let's crisscross. 2 times 5 is 10. 3 times 4 is 12. It's close. 10 plus 12 is 22, but it's not 23. So it's wrong. It's got to be 23. Okay, so let's try it. Let's stick with the 2 and the 3. Remember, those first two must always be positive. Don't try and put any negatives there. Um, and let's swap over the 5 and the 4. Let's have them like that way around. Okay, so now 3 times 5 is 15. It obviously doesn't matter which order you multiply in. 2 times 4 is 8. And if I do 15 plus 8, yes, I do get 23. Brilliant. So I now know how to factorise 6x squared plus 23x plus 20. My first bracket is those two numbers, 2x plus 5. My second bracket is those two numbers, so that's 3x plus 4. Don't forget to write the x, by the way. You'll be wrong if you don't write the x. The x is absolutely vital. Right, um, you need to go away and do some practising now.